Hi everybody. I'm coming to share my DT, my guest DT project for TaylorMade Journals. I used her Winter's Magic kit um, as the main kit in this journal. I also used her Red and Black Linotype Typesetters kit. And I used her coffee dyed espresso papers, but I printed them in black and white. There are some seed beads and some choya wood and some, um, these are plastic coated or epoxy coated, it looks plasticky, um, seeds that I had um, a whole neck, I have a whole necklace of these. Um, so I've been using it for different nature projects. I did bind this with the corset style binding. Um, I learned to do this by watching the Bohemian Crafter and I will post her YouTube tutorial for this. I think it's in two parts, but I will post um, the first part at least of this to the bottom of my video. And then this just ties closed. If I can find the right tie. Aren't these papers pretty? She's so pretty. I love the squirrel. So there are a lot of pages. I didn't count the pages, you guys. And I've already decided that this journal is... I'm keeping this journal. I have not made myself a journal yet, and I've been doing, I've been making journals for almost two years, and I haven't kept one that I've made for myself. And so much stuff happened when I was working on this journal, and this journal has, uh, has been through a lot, so I'm keeping this journal. This is from the Typesetters Kit, and this is from the Winter's Magic Kit. I love this image and I took one of the envelopes from the kit and glued it onto the page there's a piece of the linotype kit I put in for note paper I made a little cash um, cash band I don't know the actual name of these and just folded up some uh, vintage red paper and put inside it for journaling. And then this little envelope comes out and in here I have uh, some leaves from my yard that I've been playing with, painting with gesso and uh, sealing them. I actually have one here hanging off of the stangle. And then I have little scrappy pieces to use or smaller little fussy cuts to use as I'm journaling in this journal. So that slips back in there and then I'll put all this back together later. This comes out. This is really interesting. Um, it's about art and I really liked it so I folded it up and put it in there and on the back I printed um, Lorna's lace papers. There's a tag from the kit, a little dangle I made. A lot of things are stitched around. Let me turn the page. There's a pocket with the little orange box. And in here is a little card from the kit. I made this card and used some of the backing papers from the Winter's Magic kit and a piece of the Linotype setting kit on top. a little bookmark and then a piece of this textured paper that looks like it's made of tons of threads I'm not sure what it's called and 
then here I just started sticking feathers uh, some feathers I bought some feathers I found some feathers are from my yard I started sticking some feathers in here and I stitched around this um, I poked holes with an awl and then I stitched around it and knotted it with the same material that I used here and then this big tag comes out all of the inking in here is done with a black soot there's another pocket I used one of the circles from the kit made a journaling card a ta um, tag booklet this is a little uh, notebook this is a leaf from my yard a tag from the kit and I just cut a few papers the same size and put another tag from the kit on the back and then I put a piece of textured paper in here to use as I'm working in the journal this calendar page flips up I did a coffee dyed stencil here of a feather and then use some scraps from that I had left in the kit to make a little notebook here's another feather just this little bird little blue bird deer on this page some of these pages were really I couldn't cover them up they were so pretty this little red bird love him I just tied some fiber onto uh, paper clips to hold these little papers on This is from the typesetters kit. Here's a pocket from the Winter's Magic kit. This little envelope. Here's another envelope from the kit. And I put more of the leaves I've been working on in this envelope. And then here's a postcard from the kit. And here's a piece of that paper that I was talking about and where you just fold the edges and tear that off. There's another pocket from the kit. Another library card. Tag. I used a piece of the red paper as a tab. And then a piece of the linotype kit on the other side. This big tag comes out and I stitched a little ruffle on this side starting to do some collaging on the backs of these tags and this is a background paper it's kind of hard to see but there are snowflakes on this background paper it's very light and that goes back in there. There's another pocket from the kit these pages are from the Linotype kit. Envelope. Some little pieces in here to use for journaling or collaging. And then here's one of the file folders from the kit. And then some, some pressed, hand pressed paper and what I did is I had these little blue uh, skeleton leaves 
and I just glued it on and I glued this very lightly with um, Eileen's tacky glue is what I used so I figured I would start putting papers inside of these folders that had my leaves on them when I was done with them aren't they pretty on the back of that has the birds on it another piece of textured paper another large journaling card some things I stitched around in black, some in red, some in orange. Love, love, love this. Lorna, if you could make like a whole sheet, a full sheet of this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Another journaling card. I made this journaling card. This is another piece of textured paper and I just inked it up with black soot. Uh, distress oxide this says the wonder of winter the bird at the bottom I did make a writing board because some of this is pretty dimensional um, with the feathers and stuff and I know I want to do some more beading in here so I did make a little writing board and I used the background papers from uh, the I used to, but this is a background paper from the Winter's Magic kit, and then this is one of the pages, which I love this. There's little bunnies. There's another pocket. Tag from the kit. Backed with the red paper. Another piece of the linotype kit. And then I made this scrappy little notebook and uh, it's backed with backing papers from the Winter's Magic kit. And I just used pieces that I had, made sure most of them were backed. And then added a, a ruffle and stitched it all together. And then here I just put a red feather in here. This is a, a, it's a faux feather from Hobby Lobby. I bought some boas a while back. There's another file folder from the kit and I added one of the mason jars from the kit on top. And then inside is another piece of pressed paper with a blue skeleton leaf on it. piece of vintage paper and then another coffee dyed feather stencil here's another leaf that I painted um, this is off my husband's oak tree there's a large tag in here bird up here in the tree and one of my favorite pages there's that same little bird another piece of the linotype kit some more feathers I just stuck in the side of the stitching a leaf here I, s I stuck inside the stitching just to hold it this gorgeous deer again I had to make him a big tag it's so pretty and then I collaged a little bit on the back One of the circles from the kit. 
stamp size piece from the kit. All card, postcard, and some pressed paper that matches. Another piece from the kit, another tag. I'm planning on stitching this big leaf to this paper, which I haven't done it yet. Another large journaling card. another feather. I love this ratty old feather. I've had it for a long time and I put it in here. Another journaling card, some textured paper, writing paper, another calendar page. This one flips out. I started collaging on the inside of this flip and then I put this cute little fox here. rabbits in this pocket it's a little envelope love this paper and yes I glued it together upside down but I'm okay with that I'm okay with that little card in there a tag some off cuts from making these pages those pockets. I like having lots of little random pieces of paper that you can collage on, collage with, write on, make notes, write your phone number, email down on it to give it to someone. There's another pocket. And an envelope from the kit. Maybe a little journaling card in there. Another page from the Lino type kit. Textured paper. And another coffee stencil dyed. I don't know what to call them. Where I lay a stencil down and then I'll spray it with coffee. I'll put paper down, lay a stencil on top of it, spray that with coffee, lay another piece of paper on top and you get the reflective image or the opposite image. That's how I make these. Maybe I should do a video. I'm sure there's tons of videos out there on it. How to stencil with coffee. And then this is the center of this signature. Large journaling card on this side. I meant to stamp on that too. I haven't stamped on it yet. Large journaling card on this side. Another pocket here. some of the um, the skeleton leaves in this pocket and they are fragile they they don't bend well another journaling card another card some more textured paper And then in this pocket, I have another jar and another little scrappy notebook. 
I like making these. And they're cute. They're cute and you can really tailor them to each project that you're making if you would like to. Another piece of the Lino type kit. Pocket here, the tag, another leaf. This is um, muscadine grapevines that are growing on my fence, and a postcard. Another envelope from the kit. Oops, put one of the little circles from the kit on it. And I did the same thing as the other one on the inside where I made the little cash strip. Somebody please tell me what those are called. And put some paper in it to write on. And a little piece of the linotype kit. That all goes back in this envelope. And in the pocket, I have a tag from the kit. Had to do the squirrel, right? Some textured paper, pressed paper, and another little tag from the kit. I think I actually made that one. Or it was meant to be a, another strip or something. Anyway, I adjusted it. It's a tag now little fox again. This is winter forest. Another circle from the kit. And another little stamp size image of a deer from the kit. And that is it guys. I did start some I started some puzzle pieces to put in here and some other things so I'm sure you will see this journal in the future in uh, some process videos or hey I'm making this for this journal videos and thank you thank you thank you very much Lorna guys she has infinite patience infinite patience and she's super fun so go check out her uh, Facebook page her Instagram her Etsy shop um, she's Lorna Taylor uh, Taylor made journals. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you